There sure are a ton of different kinds of animals out there. Some haven't even been discovered yet and others are so elusive that we have little to no information about them save for a sighting or two. While seeing them is one thing, catching them, studying them, and understanding them is a whole different thing. I tend to think that it's not in the lobster's best interest to be an unusual color, so they really are lucky. From elusive, bizarre-looking frogs to creatures that appear as a bunch of others smashed into one, here are 15 wild animals that have rarely ever been seen. Finnick Fox There are some crazy animals out there in the world, but it doesn't mean they don't have to be adorable. The Finnick Fox is the perfect example of bizarre creatures that has a special cuteness about it. It's certainly a standout amongst the other fox in the genus. It's a far smaller one than the more famous red-coated cousin, but comes equipped with plenty of its own unique abilities. Those enormous ears are an obvious standout. Though its stature is smaller than most of its family members, its auditory capability stands out even greater. The average Finnick stands at only 8 inches tall and weighs a mere 2 to 3 pounds. That makes these wild species shorter than the average house cat and a fraction of its weight. Don't be fooled by its small size, it boasts some large characteristics. Its ears are often half the size of its body and serve multiple purposes other than just hearing. In addition to allowing them to hear prey underground, it also helps them regulate body temperature. With it making up most of its body, you can imagine how much those ears are responsible for it when it comes to survival. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Darwin Frog This crazy-looking frog is wild for more reasons than one. Not only is its appearance strange, but it's one of the only two frogs that exhibit mouth-brooding parental care. First, females lay their eggs on damp ground. Then, when the developing tadpoles begin to emerge from their egg capsules, the protective father gobbles them up and stores them in his vocal sac. There, they'll stay until their jaws and digestive tracts are fully formed, upon which the father will then carry them to a safe stream to be released. There, they'll begin their long and difficult life into adulthood, where they need to learn to hunt, eat, and survive all on their own. The only other species known to exhibit such a behavior is the northern Darwin frog. Both species find themselves on the world's critically endangered list and banned as exotic pets. The last known sighting was in 1981 and could have gone extinct already. Experts are trying to find them as we speak. The tiny frog relies on its splendid coloration and skin texture to camouflage itself amongst the forest floor and in shallow streams. Each individual frog's body print and colors work like a fingerprint for humans, with no two exactly the same. This species of frog sleeps at night and is mostly active during the day. When threatened by predators, the frog even plays dead. It does so by laying dead still on the forest floor or floating belly up in a stream. Its coloration and skin patterns make it look more like a leaf than an animal. <laughs> Sawfish With a name like a sawfish, you can imagine what it might look like. The whole tool belt of aquatic creatures exists already, so why not add a saw to the list? With their distinctive flattened snout, the sawfish is one of the most interesting and unique in the ocean. Does the sawfish's saw work much like a hammerhead's hammer? Rare sightings of this elusive creature always stir up the marine biology world. They rarely appear in the wild, let alone amidst a group of tourists and other aquatic species seeking handouts. There sure is some bizarre happenings going on in the ocean today. The teeth on a sawfish's snout aren't teeth at all, at least in the sense you understand them. They're actually scales. It indeed does have teeth, but they can be seen in the mouth where you'd normally expect to find them. Their skeletal form is made of cartilage, and when you see through x-ray, it appears more snake, ray, and shark smashed together to create one impressive beast. You can find two different species of sawfish in the U.S., and both are considered part of the ray genus. Throughout the world, there are five different known types, and not all of them are rays. These alien-looking fish are usually shy and avoid humans at all costs including their boats. Seeing one is darn near impossible. These types of fish also have the ability to move between fresh and salt waters without issue. Its life cycle is fascinating, encompassing a wide variety of habitats across the globe. <laughs> 
popcorn bear. This is one wild combination of animals. What has a face like a cat, a body like a bear, a tail like a monkey, smells like buttered popcorn, and is commonly known as a bear cat, but not related to either? If you're confused, you aren't alone. This crazy animal is the amazing Binturong, and it's one of the most unique in the animal kingdom. The fantastical creatures come equipped with stocky bodies that are covered with coarse black fur. Though they're a member of carnivora family, they typically will stick to fruit and other plants, only hunting for meat when times are desperate and or they're really hungry. They're currently considered a vulnerable species and have been subject to massive population declines of more than 30% in just 30 years. The main cause of deforestation and habitat devastation are to blame. These otherworldly creatures typically keep to themselves. In fact, their extreme, elusive nature has left them mostly a mystery. They have only just recently started studying these amazing creatures. They boast some amazing traits like their unusual attraction to the strangler fig and their impressive prehensile tails. Their tails alone can grow to be as long as their bodies, effectively doubling their size. <laughs> Cotton Candy Lobster Get this, true albino lobsters are classified as one of the rarest creatures on the planet. These so-called cotton candy colored lobsters have been estimated to be 1 in 100 million. To put that into perspective, that means it's rarer to find an albino lobster than to win the lottery twice. One famous lobster by the name of Lucky, while not a pure albino lobster, is a cotton candy one whose rarity is only slightly lower than that of a true albino. In both instances, they're stunning and alien-looking creatures. You have to see them to believe they're real. They're like something that you might find in a cartoon. Their blue, pink, and white spotches are otherworldly and indeed has the appearance of a street art feel of the world-famous treat. When the fisherman who discovered him realized that he had captured it, he made sure to put it on display in his fish market as a not-for-sale lobster. Later, he donated the rare species to the University of Maine for study. You can still find it roaming about the displays with other rare albino lobsters. It's estimated that a cotton candy or albino lobster is born only once every five years. That's an astonishingly low number when you consider the entire whopping lobster population within the ocean. Their pigmentation is typically gray or brown and only turns red-orange when cooked. <laughs> <laughs> Monk Seal The Hawaiian monk seal is endemic to Hawaii. In other words, they're native to the Hawaiian islands and can't be found anywhere else in the world. Their ancient Hawaiian name means dog that runs in rough water. Despite their amazing traits and cuddly appearance, their low numbers of only about 1,400 remaining makes it the most endangered sea lion in the United States. They're currently threatened by numerous factors such as human encroachment, extremely low levels of genetic variation, entanglement in fishing nets, marine pollution, disease, and past widespread commercial hunting for skins and oils. There are many means of conservation biology when it comes to this endangered species. In a last effort to save them from going extinct, the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration started a campaign to inform the public and conserve the seals. To do so, they developed a detailed historical timeline that shows that the Hawaiian Islands have been home to the seals for millions of years and the ecosystem depends on many of their habits. <laughs> Borneo Pygmy Elephant this highly intelligent elephant can be located in the Borneo wilderness. The pygmy, when compared to other elephants, is fairly unique. The first, most obvious distinction is its smaller size. The Borneo typically only ever reaches heights of about 9 feet in adulthood, which is significantly smaller than its mainland gigantic counterpart. It wouldn't be the first on the list to be close to dying out either, and the elephant numbers typically hover around 1,500 individuals. Can you guess what the most substantial source of decline comes from? As often found, rampant deforestation and habitat at the hands of humans. Whether it was for their tough hides or as prey for the most dangerous predators, they were slowly but systematically wiped out. The pygmy elephant still faces a host of challenges never before faced. Humans are trying to step in to slow the decline, but the damage seems to already be done. They're protected species, but that won't stop the likes of poachers or predators. To the people of Borneo, saving the species is of the utmost importance. Many groups have emerged and banded together in force to stop the decline of their endemic, unique elephant. <laughs> Smiling Angel Porpoise The newest update to the red list has downgraded the status of the amazing Yangtze finless porpoise from endangered to critically endangered. This is a direct reflection of the rapid deteriorating state of arguably the world's most degraded river system. The increased danger follows a study that counted only a thousand individuals, a shocking 50% decline from 2006. The unique freshwater dolphin, the Baiji, 
just recently went extinct in the Yangtze River, so it's completely possible for it to occur again if conditions aren't changed. Experts say that if the Yangtze is lost, future generations will undoubtedly wonder if humans were ignorant, incompetent, or some combination of both. The Yangtze River ecosystem has been decimated by overpopulation, pollution, traffic, dam building, illegal electrofishing, and habitat destruction among a growing list of chaos occurring. The porpoise now joins a handful of other creatures in the area considered critically endangered. The Chinese alligator, the Yangtze sturgeon, and the Yangtze soft-shell turtle are already suspected of being extinct. <laughs> Pygmy jerboa. The pygmy jerboa is considered the world's smallest rodent species with a tiny weight of less than an ounce, a body length of 1.7 inches, and a tail length of up to 3 inches. You can understand why. Its tail is the longest of all features, nearly doubling its body. It's also called the dwarf three-toed jerboa. It looks more like a child's art project than real-life creature with that cotton ball head and long string as the tail. When these rodents actually stand on their hind legs, they look more like mini kangaroos with their long hind legs more stretched and disproportionately large feet. They're endemic to Pakistan and Afghanistan and can be found in hopping along the desert floors. Their habitats include rolling sand dunes, barren flat gravel, and sandy deserts. To date, there's not enough evidence to determine a population count and can't determine if they're endangered or not. For now, they're protected species until further evidence can be gathered. Amur Leopards these stunning leopards are beautiful, endangered creatures whose populations have fallen to double digits in recent times. Despite this, they're still poached for their rarity. As with most other predator cats, they're typically found foraging and hunting as alpha throughout the land. The Amur, in particular, is exceptional in that it's located in the Russian Far East, where it's adapted to the frigid environment for which it hunts. The species is a lone wolf, so to speak, of the cat world, whereas other cats might, from, whereas other cats might form a pride to survive. It's its unique, solitary nature has led to a massive decline in their population to the point where they're rarely observed in the wild. Thanks to their isolation, thanks to their isolation, they can be easily isolated and poached for their stunning coats that sell upwards in the tens of thousands. This nimble predator cat is a dexterous, graceful, and effective hunter whose synergetic presence with their environment would surely cause ripples throughout the area. The capable beast can run a whopping 40 miles per hour, has a 10-foot vertical, and stores extra food after it's filled itself from a fresh kill. This makes the cat one of the most adaptable of all cats. After one has successfully hunted its prey, it typically drags the carcass to a spot where it can be hidden or closely monitored. These elegant animals are suspected to be extinct within a few years in its current trend. <sighs> Hairy-nosed Wombat The incredible northern hairy-nosed wombat is the largest burrowing marsupial in the world and considered one of Australia's rarest mammals. In 2021, a partnership with the Queensland government was formed to help conserve the species and establish new populations, and the results have been incredible. The species' preferred habitat is open eucalypt woodland, vast tracts that were deforested back in the 19th and 20th centuries. Competition with modern livestock and common rabbits also pose a significant threat, not to mention that dingoes and wild dogs love feasting on wombats. When population numbers drop to just 35 individuals, the project established a dedicated program intended to protect them. The population has since steadily recovered, which is aided by a 13-mile fence that keeps out natural predators like dingoes and wild dogs. It was constructed in 2002 and has been helping the species regain a healthy population. When the numbers return, they plan to remove the fence once more. <laughs> Elephant Shrew Despite their name, elephant shrews aren't shrews at all. Recent studies have unveiled evidence that suggests the adorable little beast is closely related to another group of African mammals that includes elephants, sea cows, and aardvarks. This tiny little creature is related to one of the largest. Who would have thought it's possible? The species is also referred to as Singhis. These mammals get their name from the long pointed head and a very long elephant-like trunk nose. Despite their small size, they come equipped with powerful, long legs which help them move in a hopping fashion similar to rabbits and at rapid speed. In addition, they have a unique gland found on the underside of their tail which produces a potent pheromone utilized to mark territories and signal other members of the species to their presence. Experts say their musky smell also serves as a potent deterrent against many carnivores that typically consider them prey. This smell is just too much to take in and ends their appetite for anything like them. Hmm. 
giant chipworm. This nightmare-inducing Lovecraftian horror needs to recede back to the depths from which it came, evading human conscious altogether. Some people might consider not knowing about this nightmare than doing so. Ignorance is bliss after all. This horror is called the giant shipworm. For some context, the existence of giant shipworms has been known by scientists since the 18th century thanks to the impressive and massive husks they would leave behind after shedding. Seeing one alive is a relatively new discovery, and a pretty disgusting one at that. These shipworms belong to the same family that mussels, oysters, and scallops exist in. These grotesque aquatic beasts can be found submerged in the muddy depths of lagoons and rivers. They are harmless for the most part and feed on the bacteria that often forms in the mud for which it resides. The giant worm's digestive tract is significantly smaller when compared to the rest of the animals within its family. A recent study showed that this monster once thrived off sunken, rotting wood, but eventually migrated onto the hydrogen sulfide found in greater quantity in the depths of the mud. Purple Frog It's well known that they're wild, unique colored frogs found around the world. But while their distribution is limited, there are several other excuses why it took experts so long to discover this incredible new frog species, dubbed the Purple Frog. These animals spend most of their lives beneath the ground and only emerge for two weeks out of each year for mating purposes alone. When it's all said and done, they go and bury themselves once for the remainder of the year. These insane frogs aren't even required to surface for sustenance. They can live and thrive really on a diet of termites and other insects that enjoy the subterranean lifestyle as well. The sound they emanate is as weird as they look. Despite their small diets, they somehow manage to keep their bloated figure, cluing scientists into the notion that its bloated appearance is more profound than aesthetics alone. They have a tiny head in comparison to their body and have a white snout that protrudes from its face, aiding in the creation of the unique sounds that you hear. These bizarre animals are in danger of extinction due to deforestation for coffee, cardamom, and ginger plantations, which all grow in ecosystems that the purple frog calls home. Spotted Couscous The fantastical Spotted Couscous is a dazzling marsupial located only on the northern parts of New Guinea. This wasn't always the case, but their declining numbers have left them highly isolated and even more in danger. This stunning creature's most fascinating characteristic is its vertically split pupils. It isn't just for looks, but it helps them to roam, see, and hunt at night. They have long, powerful, arched claws and a capable grasping tail helpful in their tree-living lifestyle. Experts say they've been driven to the brink of extinction, mostly because of human pressure and the destruction of the natural forest habitat. Some of the largest species of this majestic creature are often targeted by poachers and hunters, thus increasing the danger of extinction. Humans are the species' only natural predators and have contributed to a massive decline in their population alone. While they have been killed by other predators, they are hunted like predators do their own prey. If they are chosen as prey, they are in the wrong place at the wrong time. This human pressure, together with large-scale habitat conversion for human agriculture and construction, has drastically declined their numbers and wiped out the species from many parts of its former range. Experts are unsure how many individuals are left, but are doing their best to deter poachers from killing them. The problem with poachers is they aren't keen on following the rules to begin with. There are all sorts of animals in this world, and many of them have evaded human detection for all these years. Who knows, we may still run across a Loch Ness Monster or a Bigfoot. Other species are becoming elusive simply because of their dwindling numbers, which often is the fault of human expansion and industry. At least the internet and records will show that they indeed existed at one point or another. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to get all our content delivered right to your inbox. Mm-hmm. <laughs>